So we can now close this. Now we're back in the NeuroGuide window. We now can say File, Save As, NeuroGuide. We're back in this nice browser. So now we will type in Session 1, um, EEG, Eyes Closed. This will be a NeuroGuide file. We hit Save. And now that's saved. And I can exit NeuroGuide. It'll say, are you sure you want to quit? I'll say yes. Uh, I won't bother to save it again. So now, having done all that saving, if I simply go to my computer in Windows, I'll go local disk C, brain M.20, studies. Um, I can even here go by date, find my Cleveland workshop. And now we see in this directory all these bitmaps these are the report. So let me just grab uh, number three arbitrarily. And number three came up uh, over here in my viewer. So this is the bitmap file of that graphic. So for every graphic, there's a bitmap file. And here's number four, see? So we have these all at our fingertips. Uh, furthermore, if I go down here, I find a NeuroGuide file, session1eegec.ng. If I double click on that, NeuroGuide will wake up, and it's on my other screen right now. NeuroGuide now has woken up and is all ready for me to re-review the data. So I hit OK, and I'm back to this. So it's very easy to recover the data in the future by saving bitmap files for your reports, saving an NG file, so you have your NeuroGuide file, okay? So this entire report has been saved in two formats. Now I'm gonna quit, save the session, no, because it's already saved. Get out of here. Now if I wanna communicate this file to someone else, there's a very easy way to do it. You go folder selections, session librarian, and now I get this notice. This procedure will write an archive file for study, Cleveland, February, study name, et cetera. And I hit OK. And now the BrainMaster software is creating a um, zip file, which is encrypted and compressed. And it can, I can copy it to a disk, or I can say email. Well, if I press email, in just a moment, my computer wakes up its emailer Lo and behold, it's already pre-addressed to me because I created the folder. And it contains the record here, the BMZ file, which is the entire training folder compressed. So I could simply say, uh, please review this. I could send a copy to Richard. I could send a copy to anyone else, Bob, uh, John, whoever I want to have look at this thing and send it off. And uh, it sends it off. And um, I then get this message telling me it's sent. And finally, I get a message saying, email was requested for study. Please ensure that your mailer sent the message. So that's how easy it is to do the report, bundle it up, and ship it off. Yes, I was just wondering if the, the uh, raw EEG is part of the bitmaps as well? No. No. The report is the report. That's why we save the NG file. Okay, the, so if I want to send that. Uh, so somebody else can see it and they don't have BrainMaster, do I have... It has nothing to do with BrainMaster, it has to do with NeuroGuide. Let me show you how to do that. There is a way to do that and I'll demonstrate that in just a second. What you would do is you go into... And what you're basically going to do is do a screen image, do a screen capture. And uh, I'm letting NeuroGuide start up here. Actually, what I'll do is just go back into the directory. Um, control print screen? Hold on, yeah. Yeah, all print screen, control sprint, print screen, whatever that would be. That's how you'll do it. I don't need to show that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody knew that one. Okay. What we will do is go back into studies and go into the Cleveland workshop, which is where we are. I will open. Oh, I don't have it on this. This is a MacBook. Well, I do have a way to do it, but it's going to confuse you because I have to use the on-screen keyboard with a MacBook. So we kind of made it a little more complicated by going that way. But it's okay. We can do that. Um, you guys have alt print screen on your Windows keyboards, okay? I don't have it on a MacBook because MacBook doesn't have alt print screen. But what you would do is you would say clear these selections so the, the tracings are um, uh, visible. You'll go view uh, EEG tracings in black. Now, 
uh, and then adjust this maybe so you have something that you're comfortable giving to somebody. Uh, it is possible to print or you can export Lexicor, you can export text, you can save as EDFs, Lexicor text file. Uh, none of these are going to help a lot. So what you would do is I would, um, I have to bring up my on-screen keyboard. So if you have a Mac, you go uh, accessories, accessibility, uh, on-screen keyboard, and uh, I get this funny little thing here, and when people see it, they say, why is that there? You on a DOS keyboard or your Windows keyboard will have print screen, but I'll hit print screen just like that. And then I go back and open a uh, Word document. And here I go. I'm bringing up Microsoft Word. And uh, here's Word. What I do is File, Page Setup. I go to Landscape, I hit OK, I click inside of here, I hit Control V, and there's an image of the entire screen, okay? And because I'm using split screen, I have the whole workspace printed out because I have a monitor on the table as well as in the wall. But you would simply save this document, and uh, I could even save it in the same place. I could go back to my computer, C colon, brainm.20, studies. I encourage you to keep it all in one place. Go down to my Cleveland directory. Where'd it go? Cleveland, there it is. And just drop it in here. So I'm just going to drop it in there and call it NG Screen 1. Save. So now there's an image of the NeuroGuide screen in the same directory with everything else. So if I go ahead and, and ship it on out, um, I'll be sending everything in one nice bundle. Back with the session librarian. Anything put into that folder is going to go out with the session librarian. So you can put anything you like in there. Your reports, your documents. Uh, I'm back to this where it's looking for email. And uh, uh, in a moment when we get off camera, we'll type in the email address and be able to send all this. And you'll see it's a little bigger now because I've added more material to it. Okay, so that's how to um, print your reports and communicate your reports.